Welcome to our executive interview series at the Workday Federal Forum presented by FedScoop. I'm Wyatt Cash with Scoop News Group, and we're here with Katie Baker, Global Managing Director, HR Solutions at Accenture. Katie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'd like to start by getting your perspective on how do you see digital workforce enablement helping government agencies improve how they attract and also retain skilled employees? Excellent question. I think really establishing a technology core is how you empower your workers with that technology to, to help them collaborate with their leaders and also to set a culture of innovation. One that is really embracing what technology can bring and not one that fears change. So you get to a culture where technology could help you suggest a skill that you may want to develop or another career um, choice that could help you grow into a different angle that you had never considered. When you bring all of those pieces together, you really establish a, a forward thinking culture. So how does that then retain people? They have the, the power to think about the future in a different lens. Then when you think about the people external to your organization, they want to be part of that culture, that forward thinking technology advanced culture. But you, what, you, what you may need to think about is where you look for that talent. You may need to start to think about hidden talent pools, people that may be underemployed or unemployed, but what they've done over their lives has brought them skills. They may not have a degree, but they have that skill and they have the knowledge that when you bring that into your organization, you really can think differently and bring your team to a whole different level when you bring technology into the mix. And then how do you see agencies taking a more innovative approach to things like training, talent development, and recruitment? I think what the, the place you must start is looking at the person as an individual and as a whole individual. We have some research, which we call our net better off research, which really identified six, six pieces of a framework that when are, are, are established at work, help our people bring their full potential and achieve that full potential. Those six categories are financial. Am I financially secure? Am I um, employable? So do I have skills? Do I see advancement? Is it purposeful, right? Am I in a mission-driven organization, right? Then we get into physical health. Am I safe, right? The next one is um, relational. Am I valued? Am I included? And do I feel that sense of belonging? And the last one is our emotional and mental wellness. So looking at that entire person. And so when we look at that framework and think about what are those key drivers to really unlocking that potential, it may not be where you think. It's that belonging and the mental and emotional wellness, which really unlocks the potential. So how do we think differently about training and development? We look at the whole person. We say, how do I help that person understand themselves? their habits, what do they aspire to, to develop in terms of additional skills. Putting all of those pieces together helps them think about different opportunities. And then when I think about it for the leadership of the organization, when you know how to unlock that potential for your people just by thinking differently, it really helps you to raise and grow the organization to a completely different level. So when our people are better off, your organization will be better off. Well said. Well, Katie Baker, thank you so much for sharing some of those insights with us here at the Workday Federal Forum. Thank you for having me.